All right. So your so your boy Bank of America. <laughs> So your boy Bank of America is wilding, champ. All right, the guy Bank of America, whoever it is, is bugging, champ. All right, Bank of America is fined over one hundred million dollars for doubling fees and opening accounts without customer consent. All right. So at first, when I seen this, I thought, well, maybe all the scamming is what made this thing happen. But no, it seems like these were already. Bank of America customers and Bank of America was just wilding out on their customers that they already had, which is why I never feel bad when somebody does a scam. I, I don't feel bad that they get the bank. I just don't feel bad because the banks get us every single day, champ. All right. The banks get us every single day with fees and all. Yo, listen. Just yesterday, my shorty got almost charged on some Apple Pay BS. Also, what I'm saying, like, they just tried to charge her card some nonsense. And I'm saying just out of the blue. All right. But this is what it says about the Bank of America situation, champ. All right. Let's pull that up real quick. All right. It says Bank of America is your financial institution. Well, if Bank of America is your financial institution, you may want to pay attention to this. The institution is trending on Twitter following reports by CNN that federal regulators said BOA, that's Bank of America, champ. All right. Harmed customers by doubling by double dipping on fees, withholding credit card rewards and opening fake accounts, champ. All these actions are violations of various consumer financial protection laws. And yes, they should be champ. All right. People are entrusting y'all with they life, all right, with their life savings, with their bread they get from work, with their bread they need to do other things, man. Um, I was bank before I finished, I was banking with Bank of America like a year or two ago, and somebody scammed my account, all right. And um, trying to fix my account, I felt like they was just treating me like a criminal, all right. I felt like they was treating me like a criminal, and they essentially closed my account, all right, and I had works check check stubs and direct deposits going into bank of america and they treated me like i've never done business with them before champ all right so i feel glad about this i feel happy that they got caught with what they were doing here's the t the consumer financial protection bureau ordered bank of america to pay more than 100 million dollars to customers and about 90 million dollars in penalties all right so that's yo, that's wild guap. I ain't gonna hold you. In addition, the office of the controller of the currency guy, I didn't even know there was an office for that champ. I sold rocks, I never knew that there was an office of the comp troller champ, all right, of currency. I never knew that that existed. Also, order BOA to pay 60 million dollars in fines. Hold on, so that's way so that's over 200 million dollars, champ. That's over 200 million dollars. All right, the CFPB director Rohit Chopra. We we know where son is from. All right, that Rohit, I I can kind of imagine where you're from. All right, my brother spoke out about the findings and statement. Bank of America wrongfully withheld credit card rewards, double dipped on fees, and opened accounts without consent. Rohit said the statements added. These practices are illegal and undermine uh, customer trust. The CFPB will be putting an end to these practices across the banking system. BOA isn't the only financial institution that has done this before. Reports state the charges are similar. Wells Fargo scandal, champ. All right, so Wells Fargo also did this previously in the past. If you recall, Wells opened millions of bank accounts without customer authorization, champ. It gets nasty when you get into that banking world, when you get into that legal money, there's still illegal things happening. Just think about it. Why do you think you, you can't go to a bank and withdraw more than what? A hundred thousand or whatever it is, champ. I don't have enough money, but I've heard stories. All right. I've heard stories. Facts. All right. F tank says nasty work, bro. Facts. That's why I never really did business with banks. Yeah, because it's all about how much money they can get. It's always about how much money they can double your money to or triple your money to with all them uh, uh, interest rates and, and things of that nature to where they understand that a lot of banking is done online. 
So there's really nobody to see you face to face when there's nobody to see you face to face. And a, and a lot of times they feel like it's easier to use you, champ. They feel like it's easier to go ahead and mess around with the numbers. Let me move one, one, one digit here and another digit here. Well, let's open up a cut. They got millions and millions of, of, of customers, champ. They got millions and millions and millions of customers and social security numbers and information chip. Um, it's probably normal practice by now. I'm not going to hold you. It's probably normal practice by now, son. I'm not going to lie to you. That's why I have Cash App Champ and Venmo Champ. I'm saying as of right now, after I dealt with Bank of America, I felt unsafe with banks, Champ. I don't know how somebody can try to cash checks in my name and it's not me, Champ, right? And you close my account, champ. I just don't know how you could do that. Uh, it's just crazy to me. So I say, you know what? Let me move back away from banks, champ. I guess banks is not the right route to go. All right. But like I said, man, it's a good thing that they got caught up in a BS because this is how they make money without this being checked, without this being checked, champ, the Czech Republic, without this being checked. They make billions of dollars a year, champ, off of y'all customers. Um, and that's just how it goes, bro, right? That's just how it goes. But salute to Bank of America for taking niggas guap, you heard? Salute to Bank of America for taking ninjas guap, you heard?